All right, everybody. Um, <clears throat> I uh, have been uh, posting a lot of uh, pictures as this build has progressed, and uh, I think I'm done as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to put it to use today, and we're going to see if it works the way I think it's going to. But uh, anyways, this is my homemade corn planter, uh, and I just wanted to go over uh, a little bit of the thought process and uh, all the bits and pieces that I've used to come up with this, um, starting with the uh, the three-point setup, which was um, actually part of an old pig pole or, or a boom lift that I made years ago for a different tractor, so I cannibalized it. Um, some of the, uh, the two-inch square tubing, that is off an old weight bench. Um, the sets of wheels uh, are each off of um, hand trucks or furniture movers. Um, they're solid rubber, don't have to worry about ever going flat. Um, the hopper assembly on it is, uh, <clears throat> was a piece that was going to be thrown out where I work and uh, it was square. Um, I've modified it with sheet metal and turned it into what I needed. Um, you can see the uh, the sprockets, uh, these are off of a 18 speed mountain bike, so is the uh, chain idler. Um, just recently I, uh, I put the, the uh, cover wheels, um, I made them adjustable so that they can be adjusted in narrower or wider because I'm really not sure how that's going to work. Um, that thing can pivot up and down, I just added a spring. Um, just to keep it from flopping all the way down when I lift it up um, so it doesn't get caught underneath the machine when I set it back down and let's see what else um, the bearings that I used on it again came off a piece of equipment that everything was being replaced on I salvaged those um, this, just this morning I added the feed tube where the, uh, the corn's going to go down and um, through uh, through the tube that I have zip tied for right now onto the back of the plow. So the plan here is, is the plow is going to make the furrow, the corn is going to drop down the tube into the furrow, and these wheels are going to cover it when I go by. Um, there's my little plow. Um, I adjusted it, or I put holes in it for adjustment because um, I have no idea how deep this thing's going to sink into the soft tilled soil, so I'm going to have to. Um, I, went, I wanted to have adjustability for that because um, you don't want your seeds too deep, or they're not going to come up, and vice versa. Um, take this cover off and show you what's going on here. This is uh, actually I can take them both off. So, anyways, here's the the feed hopper. And you fill this up with your corn or bean seeds or any large seeds I feel that this is going to be able to do. And then those are going to go down, filling this chamber down in here. And as, I don't know if you can see that, but I have little scoops made into this chunk of plastic. There's four of them. And through the sprockets off of the old bike I was able to come up with a combination where as this rolls along the ground about every nine to ten inches um, this thing scoops up a seed throws it into here and from there it'll travel down the feed tube and into the furrow um, something else going on here that was a needed afterthought was originally this was all mounted in the center and I had to offset this because of the width and the size of my tractor. There wasn't going to be any way to plant the rows um, close enough together without actually driving on something that you already planted. So by offsetting this um, to, the, to the width that I did, what I can do is when I go down through, if I turn around and come back on my own tracks, it'll actually space the rows around 19 inches apart and when I move over one tractor width the next new row will be about the same distance so in doing that I'm not going to be packing in my seed with the weight of the tractor and it's going to space my rows 
well, somewhere between 18 to 20 inches. So, um, anyhow, um, if you, uh, if you have any questions, you know, you can, uh, definitely ask those, and, um, uh, I'm going to be bringing you a video here uh, at some point. Well, I'm going to be videoing it here shortly because I'm going to put the corn in, take it up to the field, and we're going to give it a try. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I'll bring you an actual working video, and uh, I guess we'll all learn together how this thing's going to how it's going to work. So, all right, um, just uh, another one of my little inventions and. Slash projects here on the on the farm. <laughs>